What is this thing I purchased at an auction with other rolling pins? Approximately 22 inches long, with painted wooden handles, the center is metal, and it spins. I'm guessing a rolling pin, but for what? It certainly wouldn't make food flat and isn't sharp enough for the detailed pastries one sees. Any ideas? It's a 1920s French fat roller. It was purported to roll away fat and cellulite from the stomach. It also claims that by directly massaging a specific part of your body for five minutes a day, you will immediately experience beneficial effects on your health. What is this old wood and metal hinged folding platform found in an old warehouse? The warehouse was built sometime around 1920. The base has adjustments, can be folded flat, and appears to have remnants of a canvas strap of some kind. The rivet detail in particular was interesting to me. Any ideas would be cool to hear. Ice handler here from a long line of ice handlers. That's an ice ramp from the early 1900s. It was used to help load the ice blocks into the delivery truck or wagon. It allows the ice blocks to slide in or out without breaking, adjustable to the various delivery vehicles, and is flat for storage purposes. What is this thing with a hollow brass handle threaded on one end with six inch steel spike on the other? My dad bought this at an estate sale in Eastern Washington. It's about 10 inches long in total and weighs maybe a pound. The handle is hollow and right now has matches in it, but I'm not sure if that's what came in there originally. Any ideas? It's a combination miner's candle holder and match safe, also known as Sticking Tommy. It was patented on October 10th, 1905 by John B. Lindell of Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's an item that the miners used to hold their candles down in the mine while they were working. A miner would get three or four candles for a 10 hour shift and they'd stick it in this round part that held the candle. And there was a spike and a hook. They would use the spike and hammer it into a crack or into the timber of the mining structure or by the hook, they would hook it on their hat and the candle would light their way. The handle is to store extra matches to avoid being without light in the dark. The last Lindell I found sold for over $900. What is this oval box made of brown and white unknown material I found in the attic? Approximately one pound, six inches with metal carvings on the top. It was my grandma's and no one knows what it is. I also want to find out the material. Any ideas? It's a camel bone trinket box. I have one exactly like it. I bought at an African ethnic market at the end of the 60s, completely handmade. Its primary use is to contain a variety of small jewels, such as rings, bracelets, and earrings. But it can be used simply as an ornament in all corners of the house. What is this glass bowl with a fin in the middle? I found it in the kitchen section of a local thrift store. It's kind of bullet shaped, about seven inches long, and the end is open, so it's not a typical dish. There's a fin in the middle of the dish, close to the flat open end of the bullet shape. Any ideas? It's a knife holder made in Germany by Princess House in the 70s. These were made to hold additional silverware place settings or for banquet use. Princess House crystal is highly collectible with its peak years of production around the midpoint of the 20th century. What is this thing found at an antique store? The owner said he thought it was 100 years old with no words or numbers on it. A friend of my daughter's bought it today just because it looked cool and her husband is a chef and she thought he'd like it. Possibly a paper cutter or cheese cutter or maybe a sausage cutter. Any ideas? It's a bread cutter from Germany circa 1880. Yours seems to be missing a piece and it will be for a firm bread like rye. I've bought and sold many cast iron ones from Germany and Denmark over the years, where pretty much every home between 1850 to 1970 seemed to own one. What is this kitchen thingamajig in a 1950s home? This is on our countertop. The knobs do not move. There is nothing now underneath, although I expect there may have been at one time. It is seven by three inches, and it says Newton and remove for cleaning with numbers on a dial. 
I have tried searching for Newtone Remove for cleaning, and I have uploaded this image to reverse image search with no success. Any information about it would be much appreciated. It's a 1950s Newtone inbuilt blender mixer for the kitchen of the future, designed for permanent inset installation into a kitchen countertop. We had that in our house built in 1967. There was a motor under the counter. The bottom dial is for motor speed, and the upper knob is just a cover for a set of gears that drive kitchen gadgets that fit into the hole, like a blender, a sharpener, and a mixer. What is this small metal object bolted to the side of the counter in a kitchen built in the 1950s? It has what I assume is a bottle opener and maybe a knife sharpener. But I'm not sure what the pin holds in place though. Any ideas? It's for a wall mount can opener, but the can opener part is missing. That is just the bracket that holds the can opener to the wall or counter. Patented June 24th, 1952 by William J. Landry of Blue Springs, Missouri. The can opener operates through a crank handle. Grandma had one. You opened right over the trash can in case there was spillage. What is this some sort of wooden clamping device I found at an estate sale? I have no idea what it could be used for. It is labeled on the side with H. Leeson, and I'm unsure what age it is, as there are no additional stamps or information on it. The brass knob turns to move the U-shaped flat in and out. The wooden handle on the back side with the brass knob moves slightly but doesn't seem to come out. I didn't force it as I didn't want to break it. The size can be seen by using my wife's hands in the last picture. Does anybody know what this is? It's a mid-19th century plow plane. They are used primarily for plowing grooves on a board. Grooves are one of the most common joints that you'll cut on many furniture projects. Like on the bottom of drawers and boxes, on door rails and stiles, and on the backs of cupboards when you want to slide it back in. Could you tell me what this tool is used for? I've had it for many years, and it came with a box of tools from an Ohio yard sale. It measures five inches long and stamped orange, patented August 1919 on the handle. Any ideas? Please tell us down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.